Okay. What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button. And the video didn't even start yet. Y'all have been as long as any. I appreciate you anyway. I mean, y'all, y'all already read the damn, y'all read the title, man. Um, a woman gets robbed by a guy that she met on Hinge. Apparently, she only knew his ass for about 12 days. Ladies, I've said it so many times before, man. Y'all cannot be this uh gullible, this damn trusting to people on social media. People was out here catfishing, using fake accounts, um, pictures that they found on Google, pictures they found from other people's profiles and stuff like that. These types of things happen so, 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 so often. You have to be careful. I've said it so many times before. So, unfortunately, this lady got robbed. I believe she's out of Dallas, if I'm not mistaken. Um, unfortunately, she got robbed. Yeah, you got your stuff stolen, but what was not stolen was your life. You were still able to get up and walk away from this, breathe from this. Thank God. Just thank God for that. Uh, whatever you got stolen what could be can be replaced. Uh, you know what I mean? But let, let's get into this video, man. I ain't trying to run along too long. It's going to be hard. But um, I was robbed by someone that I trusted that I had met on Hinge, the dating app. We've only known each other for like 12 days. Yes, I know I'm an idiot for inviting some. Yeah, you're a damn, you damn sure is an idiot. How you trust someone you only know them for 12 days? That, that, that don't sound like trust to me. That sounds like lust. That's what the hell it sounds like. That's because you don't develop trust with someone within 12 goddamn days. And she knows that. She's like, yes, I know that I'm an idiot. Yes, you are dumb as hell because you could have lost your life. man that I didn't go to my house multiple times overall in the last a week and a half. I trusted him, although um, there were a lot of red flags. So many that I can't even count them. He was super lovey-dovey and kind and nice, you know, the whole, yeah. And I was very trusting and too nice. And he stole from me. Someone I thought that actually liked me. And we actually started, well, we're pretty much official um, two days ago. I'm assuming now we're not. Um, I've, I've called him. I have. Oh, what, what do you mean, assuming now? She's still stupid. She ain't learned her lesson. What do you mean, assuming? Somebody stole from you. Are you talking about, I'm assuming we're not together anymore? What do you mean, you assuming you're not together anymore? What the hell are you, what are you talking about? This woman ain't learn her, man. Ladies. And it's hard dating in Dallas, man. Dallas is like the big known cities. Dallas, Seattle, LA, Vegas, Atlanta, Miami, New York City. Among others. But those cities, those top cities in America, is so hard because the competition out there is so crazy. Which is probably the reason why she was so desperate to damn people. This guy, she, oh, I knew him for 12 days and I trusted him with my life. You could have been damn missing. Y'all, ladies, y'all don't understand. And the thing that kills me the most is this, right? You'll hear, and you ain't. Because I see it on social media all the time and in person too. But you see stuff like this on social media all the time where you're uh, a guy with like, you know, a microphone, like, you know, those type of interview type of um, channels, right? I see it all the time on Facebook. A guy with a, uh, with a mic would ask a girl like, oh, well, what are the chances of you going out with this guy or this guy or that guy or this guy? And they'll be so quick to say, oh, well, I don't know because I don't trust him. I don't know him. I don't do this. I don't do that. And that, 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 that. I'm not going to take him. I'm not going to meet him at his place. I'm not going to do this, that, and third. But then you have someone who's never met this guy in person before on Hinge on a dating app and you send him an address and have him come over to do damn whatever. I've said this so many times before, fellas, if, if you don't have that basic level of attraction with, with a girl, a girl having a basic level of attraction with you, you just hang it up because you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. I'm not about to be sitting here going back and forth and doing all for what? Why? It doesn't make sense. Because if she likes you the way you think you, she likes you. You're going to have a situation like this, you know, minus the robbery, obviously. But you're going to have a situation like this with a woman like her sending you the address and you only known her for, for, for barely 10 days. FaceTimed him. I have tried to text him. Nothing. 
I've tried all day, um, not all day, just for a few hours. I tried him on other phone and other numbers, nothing. And she trying to damn contact him. For what? The man gone. Your stuff is gone. Be happy you have your life. Calling him, texting him, trying to FaceTime. For what? To get your stuff back? What he going to do? Oh, okay, my bad. I'm going to bring it back right now. That's not how it goes, ma'am. You've been robbed. Make your police report. Send the police all the, you know, assuming it's the person. Send the picture, uh, send, send the pictures and videos and profiles, all that stuff to the police department. I've even DM'd him on Instagram. Nothing. I'm going to show you a picture of him. He's in Dallas. So you guys know who he is. And ladies, beware. I think he does this. Maybe on regular. I'm not sure. This is the first picture of him. He has a tattoo on his neck and tattoos on his arm. Another angle. This is his dating profile on Hinge. Ladies, if you see him, please just don't mess with him. Don't. Ladies, y'all cannot be this gullible driving to meet people and doing this, that, and the third. Y'all cannot be. I'm begging y'all. Y'all, um, you. You can't be this gullible. People end up missing for less. Again, I and I might sound like, you know, I might sound like a jerk right now, but be glad that you just got robbed. You could have been, you know, sexually assaulted. You could have been forced to do something that you didn't want to do. You could have been damn trafficked. You could have been damn, uh, you know, organs missing. Waking up in a bathtub full of ice. You could have not been waking up at all. So me personally, I don't even see this bad. I'm like, yo, listen, I would rather you damn rob me than, you know, you you damn taking my life. Y'all don't understand how bad it really gets out here and it shows each and every day because you see stuff like this all the damn time. Oh, I trusted him. I trusted him with my life. You only knew him for 12 days online. Online. And she still ain't learned her lesson. Oh, I've been trying to call him. I've been trying to text him. I've been trying to FaceTime him. For what? It probably was a fake account, assuming you didn't FaceTime him. But it was probably it was, it was probably a, a, a fake ass goddamn account. I really wish she would have went into detail as far as what you know what she said what, what he robbed her of. Because earlier in the video, she said that she sent him an address. So I'm assuming that he came there, probably stole some stuff, and then left. But you can't be this damn stupid. You cannot be this damn stupid. I mean, I listen. I'm happy you was able to walk away with your life, ma'am. That's 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 all I'm gonna say. I want y'all to comment down below and let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please, man, y'all be safe for her, cuz.